All right. Well, welcome everyone to this session. My name is Janusz Gavor, and I'm an open data strategist at the city of Calgary. And I'm joined by Diana Campbell, who's a digital experience manager from Alberta Blue Cross. And basically the summary of this session is we're here to share success story of how partnership forged between public and private entities can really help and benefit the public good. So we'll talk a little bit about the vaccination rollout program in Alberta and what Alberta Blue Cross and City of Calgary's roles were in the plan. Uh, we'll focus on how this collaboration between private and public was enabled and how quickly. And then we'll just finish off with a few more notes and we'll demo the application or basically the usage of, of the data for you towards the end. So one year into the global pandemic, vaccines and approved vaccines were starting to be rolled out across the world um, and across Canada. And in various provinces, including Alberta, there were similar formats, whereas as we, um, things were being, or the vaccination was being prioritized for some of the immunocompromised, um, for frontline health and education workers that were in constant contact with the patients, with the students, and, and really by age cohort. And um, it was in order to make sure that there is a program in place in order to, to protect everyone and to get everyone um, vaccinated in a timely fashion. Now, Alberta Blue Cross Pharmacies, Alberta Health Services Health Clinics were the locations that were going to be opened up to host these vaccines, vaccines for, so that people could get their immunization. And really the goal of this vaccination rollout is we, it was important in, in these challenging times where people are stressed, things are changing daily. It's important to have an authoritative source of information and data um, in order that people know that they can get information from a trusted source so that they know where to go, when to go, um, in order to keep themselves and their loved ones around them safe. So what was Alberta Blue Cross's role in the COVID-19 vaccination rollout? Our role always was and will remain about breaking down the barriers and supporting the people of Alberta to get their COVID-19 vaccinations. We see the vaccine as an integral component of reopening the battered economy and supporting incomes, public spending, businesses, communities, public entities, and just life in general. When the provincial decision was made to make vaccines available through the pharmacies, it seemed almost kismet to support the program as Alberta Blue Cross has the partnerships, the relationships with pharmacies to enable the rollout as quickly as possible. We also have one of the best places to distribute the information. One of the others you will see shortly the channel distribution at Alberta Blue Cross is what we often refer to as our public website. As we serve over half of the population in the province, they know who we are and they are used to coming our website for their daily health needs. We started our vaccine journey back in February with a page on our website containing a few drop downs to allow the citizens of Alberta to see and use the information because it really was about access to information and the underlying data that we had available. As the pandemic continued and the third wave was rearing its ugly head in February and March, we started to think differently about the data and really the purpose of the page and how and why people were going to be using it. As well, we've always, we've all been there, expanding requirements with tighter and faster deadlines. Citizens wanted to find a vaccine in a city near them they cared about which vaccine they wanted to get and which pharmacy had stock with either appointments or walk-in availability and with varying wait times. So when looking at a typical map, a few pins here and there are great and they allow people to see the locations around them where they're looking for. We then had more pharmacies that signed vaccine agreements and we started to have hundreds of pins in arguably singular locations getting difficult to pinpoint the location you want to check availability on. However, with the use of clustering that you see here in the map, we were able to use our, have our users pinpoint the map itself 
which then would zoom based on your explicit actions. Now, let me also point your attention to the link that says click here to see a list of pharmacies with vaccine availability by city. Data in a map alone provides barriers, barriers to accessibility and those individuals using assistive technology, whether that be screen reading software, joystick and foot pedal controls. We want to stay true to our mission to support all Albertans and always keep the listing functionality on the website which is where you see today the vital information you need in a simple and easy to use format geared towards any Albertan with any need. So what was City of Calgary's role in this vaccination rollout? Um, similar to Alberta Blue Cross, we wanted to make sure that we move the barriers to vaccination. We weren't vaccinating people, but we wanted to, as our motto is to make life better every day for citizens, we wanted to make sure that any barriers to them getting vaccinated were removed. Um, the city of Calgary, much like many other municipalities across Canada, is providing services for citizens. And what we really strive to do is provide excellent services for citizens, which include digital services. Data is becoming um, a really highly sought after currency and in order to um, support the vision for an open government, one way to do that is to open up more and more data so that citizens, counselors, the public, employees, everyone has access to information and data. Because with data, you can drive various decisions, whether it's in council committee meetings or whether it's for your own personal need and use by analyzing crime statistics in your neighborhood, maybe even just census data to look at the demographics or even check out the nearest park or playground near you that you can take your dog for a walk, you can go and take your kids uh, on the slide. So it's, it's very much supporting digital services for citizens. And in the group that I work for, which is Corporate Analytics and Innovation, we have an open data program for the city of Calgary, which is really aligned with this transparency and accountability in government. And really, we are looking to meet these three goals, which is to improve transparency, improve public participation, enhance services for citizens. So very much aligned with the City of Calgary vision. And really, the open data program is looking at facilitating access to data for the benefit of all. And we are well aligned with the International Open Data Charter, whereas we want to make sure data is open by default, data is timely comprehensive, it's usable, comparable, and it improves governance, citizen engagement. And in this particular instance, it's really the focus is on being timely comprehensive. The pandemic's affecting us all. We're all stressed, we're all trying to figure out what to do. Making sure information is available in a timely fashion, and it is comprehensive from an authoritative source gives people a lot more, um, calms people having this trusted source of data in hand. Um, also wanted to mention that the city of Calgary, much like many other cities throughout Canada, uh, are participate annually in this open cities benchmark, which basically looks at the openness of governments across Canada. And city of Calgary has been among the leaders since it's the inception of this survey in 2015 and making sure that we have the resources, we implement the data sets, and really most importantly, which is tell the story and see what impact the data has. How are people using the data to make things better, to make life better? How are people starting businesses? That is one of the toughest things to get out of the open data uh, movement, but this story here is, is about that, about how data made an impact. And so how did our collaboration get started? So this is really a success story of partnership between the province, between private organizations, which includes Alberta Blue Cross, and I'll mention the transit app company, and of course, municipal government. Oftentimes you think of government being slow and not moving fast. Well, I'll show you in the next couple of slides how quickly we are able to get this collaboration started. So as we know, throughout the pandemic, 
municipalities, provinces have been sharing data related to the pandemic. There's been lots of different COVID statistics shared and, and really information shared so that policies can be enacted in order to see whether masking is required, whether um, social distancing is required, where and when. So it, a lot of the information analysis data contributed to just understanding what is the best way to protect the public. Now, the Alberta government had partnered with Alberta Blue Cross to really look at, in this COVID vaccination world, how can we support and get the information out to citizens as quickly as possible and as comprehensively as possible so that they could be well informed and, and know what they need to do in order to uh, keep themselves and their families safe. City of Calgary also navigated that beautiful map that was shown a couple of slides ago by Diana, um, which Alberta Blue Cross was sharing. Very beautiful map identifying the various pharmacy locations. And, and being a large data shop and really a lot of corporate analytics and innovations role is, is in looking at the data and analyzing data and realizing that there is geospatial data behind a lot of these maps. So we saw the opportunity, we saw the uh, potential for collaboration to help enable the public, to help enable um, some of these private companies such as Transit to make this data available easily in the hands of, of all people. Um, so again, it was the province, it was Blue Cross and Transit and, and City of Calgary really involved in this partnership. And I'll go a little bit more about into the Transit App company as well in, in future slides and the role that they had to play. And really the speed of this collaboration is just, is just a testament to people having the will and, and realizing the need to make sure that we get hands in the data of, in the hands of people as quickly as possible. In late April, we identified the opportunity. We saw the data behind the Blue Cross map and it was pitched internally to city senior management to really focus, to pivot what priorities they were focused on and rally together to prioritize this idea and reach out to Blue Cross to see about the possibility of some data sharing in order to benefit the public good. And um, there was lots of different considerations, including IP and privacy and security was top most of mind. It always is for any data that we make available. Um, and really within a week, we had a spreadsheet of data that was prepared and shared from Alberta Blue Cross that allowed us to see things such as locations of the pharmacies, the types of vaccination uh, types available, um, as well as the address to these locations and with web links. And it was worked pretty well. Data was being shared securely through a well-established data sharing mechanism, and yet it was semi-automated. There was still a little bit of manual processing that needed to occur. And continuing to collaborate effectively together, we were able to establish full automation by um, identifying a secure open file exchange system for the transfer of data, which just enables things to just happen that much faster uh, and while protecting security and privacy needs. And so what does it mean when we get the data uh, available on the open data portal? Well, by providing data on the data on the open data portal, now you have anyone can go and view and download the data, which includes all of this address information, booking links, vaccine types. But more importantly, for developers such as Transit, it gives them an ability to access the data via the application programming interface or the API. And really tr transit, great Montreal story, company based out of, of Montreal started about 10 years ago with a big focus on really getting people around the city, getting people moving around by bus, train, um, and in years, in the past few years, e-scooter, Uber, ride shares, all of those different uh, transportation options were added. Um, there was also this potential there to add 
the vaccination location data in order to help people find their way to a vaccination clinic, to make it convenient for someone to download an app on their smartphone to then gain access to the data that allows them to see what appointments are available, where they're available, um, if they're going to pick up their groceries at a Safeway or our Sobeys, um, to make it as convenient for them as possible uh, to give them options. And the type of data that, again, is, is available is, is, as you can see in the screenshot, it gives you an address of the pharmacy or Alberta Health Services Clinic. There's a booking link that takes you to a site along with the vaccine type if, if people have a preference or maybe they're in an age cohort, such as the 12 to 18 year olds, which were um, approved for the Pfizer vaccine. There may be a few people in this virtual room who still may be wondering why, why Alberta Blue Cross? We have a unique position in the province of Alberta. We are at the intersection of public policy, provincial programming, community drivers, private organizations, small businesses, and individual health and wellness. We have the vision to be a part of every Albertans live, whether whatever age or stage they are at, we are there to support them. We have seen a rate of exponential change over the past 18 months like no other period in time. And the shift from health only to health intertwined and empowered by wellness, data, and technology. This has been coupled with the public voices that are advocating for more transparency, the breakdown of the social determinants of health, social equity, and equal access. This is where initiatives and programs that support countries, provinces, and municipalities, programs like the COVID-19 immunization vaccine program. This may not immediately be seen as a place for a private organization, but we all benefit from these programs, regardless of socioeconomic class. At Alberta Blue Cross, we thrive in the messy middle between public government and individual citizens and empower that with data and the capabilities to make a difference. While you may not think of a health benefits organization or even government entities as a viable partner, or being technologically savvy. We have one of the largest technology shops in Alberta. Our business is powered by data and technology. We have the talent, the tools, and the existing portals to enable and gather the use of essential data, cleansing it, anonymizing any possibly personally identifiable information and disseminating it to the public population at large. Through all of this, we saw unprecedented success in the data. As you can see in the graph below, the Alberta Blue Cross website saw over an 800% increase in the website traffic in a matter of hours. Over 500% increase in users sustained over several months and an unheard of 89% conversion rate. Now, a conversion rate is typically monetary in terms of selling, but in this terms, Users were able to complete their goals and book a vaccine appointment or find a walk-in clinic, either by online portal or phone number, with their vaccine of choice within a one-time visit to our website. Alberta had a first shot vaccine immunization rate of over 70% in a few short months. With a positive sentiment from our partners and kind words such as the success of the immunization program within Alberta is underpinned by the Alberta Blue Cross website. Now, since the program launched, we have realized the power of partnerships, of opening up our data, and what groups of great people at all levels of an economy can truly accomplish if we work together for the greater good of the communities we all live in and the citizens we work with and live beside. City of Kagi was also able to capture some impressive statistics on the data sharing by making the vaccination clinic location data available on the open data portal. In those May to August time period, we saw over a thousand downloads of the COVID vaccination location data by folks. And more importantly, we saw over 32,000 API hits, which is what the developers are accessing 
when they're ingesting the data using the API in order to make this available on your smartphone so that any user can use the friendly user interface to find the information. And much like Alberta Blue Cross and Diana just mentioned, we are very much focused on collaboration, citizen focus. We've seen the strength in partnerships and in forging those partnerships between levels of government, between industry, and we will continue to seek to forge new partnerships because we see that together we can work more effectively, we can work more quickly, and most importantly, we can make a positive impact on people's lives by removing, in this case, barriers to act, barriers to um, access to information and data. And at the end of the day, it's all about improving and enhancing services for all. Um, so we, this has been a real testament of a successful partnership towards the public good. And before we delve into um, some questions, I'll just do a quick little demonstration of this transit app application. All right, and so that finishes off the presentation. So thank you once again. I'm Janusz Gavr, the Open Data Strategist with the City of Calgary, and uh, Diana Campbell from Alberta Blue Cross has been uh, here. So we'll just open up any the room for questions or comments. Look in the chat box to see if we have anything as well. All right. Looks like there are no questions. I mean, you can definitely reach out later to either one of us and um, we're seeking us out and we can definitely discuss more, but um, yeah, hopefully this has been a good story of, of sharing success about forging different partnership between uh, public and private entities. And um, it just goes to show that uh, where there's a will, there's a way to make things happen. And, and there's a way to make things happen in, in a timely way for, for the public good. All right, did you have any other Closing comments you wanted to add, Diana? I would just say the same as you. It's it's a testament to what we can do when we work together. And I can't thank everyone enough to be for being here to, to hear about more of it. Excellent. Well, it looks like there's no questions at this present time. So um, 
um, everyone gets a few minutes to navigate to their next session. But uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to us at any point if you have any other questions. Um, so yeah, good luck with the rest of the summit. And um, yeah, hope to, uh, to see you all in the other sessions. Thank you Thanks, all. everyone. Thanks, everyone.